Black Then project, Art and Engineering, is funded by the Royal Academy of Engineering to inspire people to get more involved in engineering through creative and imaginative means. We've been making stuff, like once we made um, a city, um, they, they made groups of six and um, everybody made their own little city and they joined it together on one big table. I learned to take picture with the SLR camera. So I'm quite confident now to use the camera. And I made new friends. I learn new things. Um, I think the best thing we've done is the shadow puppets. When you come back out and see that the solar panel generates electricity, then goes into the house. One of the things I wanted for the whole of the project with that Tinsley was for them to just explore lots of different areas, things they wouldn't have tried thinking beyond just what they were doing or how it would look at the end. I really enjoyed meeting the community groups. That was a real privilege, actually. And particularly, I think it, it's very important to let girls know to, from a young age that engineering is a possible option for them. I think engineering was boring. I never really used to like engineering. But because of this project, is kind of fun. We were really excited by all the work that was produced from the different community groups. What we had was a celebration event and it started off with arts walks around our industrial heritage in Sheffield. They walked over the river, saw some of the artwork that's there already and then they came back to Gripple and that's where we had the celebration opening. That was followed by an afternoon seminar where we heard from both engineers and artists about how they saw the relationship between art and engineering. I don't think people always see engineering as creative, but it's incredibly creative. You know, just look at the wonders that are around, you know. It has to start, it starts with somebody with an idea, doesn't it? Previously, I uh, think that engineering is just the study of mathematics. But uh, the engineers which joined us told us that it is uh, not only the study of mathematics, engineering is applied in uh, each and every field of uh, science. We also went on a trip um, to Tribersonics in Sheffield. They're talking about um, like waves. There was this radio or something, like speaker, and one of the staff, um, he was saying, can you hear the high, high pitch and then the adults couldn't hear it then, only the children could hear it. So our company, for a long time we've been saying that we really want to engage more with the community. So everyone here was really excited about having them here. Tribosonics, it's a merge of two words, ultrasonics and tribology. Tribology is the science of uh, interfacing surfaces. In terms of the things that we do, this technology using ultrasound to measure tribological applications. In some cases, we're the only company in the world who is doing that. What he was showing us, it was really good. And the children then shot up volunteering to do it. They were exceptionally good, they were really good. I, I really enjoyed being among the children. Scattered up and down and, and Winker Bank, and especially the lower part, it, it was, you know, little bits of industry. So you've grown up amongst it and something you took for granted. We've been doing uh, a lot of artwork, which I'm, I'm not particularly used to. We've been doing paper engineering, making things out of paper, where I'm used to making things out of steel, and printing of all things, uh, which I've done many times, but I've never actually made the printing blocks. But we've been making those, which has been fantastic. The amount of things that you can do in engineering is infinite, as in you don't really know what the world needs until you make it and you can keep on making new things which improve people's lives in many different ways. Um, actually I want to become an engineer when, engineer when I get older, maybe a petroleum engineer or an electrical engineer. Art and engineering are so similar. When, you, when you're building something uh, large scale and three dimensional, all the weights and and the proportions and the materials and the strengths, that all comes into it. So that's all engineering. It's just a different way of looking at it. They're all creative processes. From doing this project, I've learned how you can make things that, that can change the world and, and, uh, and can be very good to the world.